Hey guys, welcome back to Brandon Does Barbecue. Today we're gonna do a Southwest style burger with bison and chorizo. All right, so we're gonna start with our one pound of ground bison. Go ahead and get yourself one pound of chorizo. Don't forget to remove the paper, unless you like to eat paper. I don't. Next thing we're gonna do is put a couple dashes of Worcestershire in here. Go ahead, mix it up. Now, bison is a pretty, pretty lean meat. I think this one was 90-10. But the chorizo, not only does it add some different flavors, that's gonna help add some fat so it can get you that nice juicy burger that you want. All right, now that we got our meat mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and portion it out for our patties. So I got roughly two pounds of meat here. I'm thinking we'll do half pound burger. They're gonna shrink up anyway, so we'll make them kind of big. So we'll go ahead and put that in half. Roughly, guesstimate. Doesn't gotta be perfect. And then split those in half. All right, now that we got our meat portion out, we'll go ahead and start to form our patties. All right, once you got the patty pretty flat, some people will go ahead and take their thumb, put a little indentation in the middle. They say that this helps the patty from swelling up. Now that we got our patties formed, we're gonna go ahead and season them. Today, I'm gonna use Killer Hogs TX Rub. This stuff is good for briskets, good for steaks. It's got a lot of coarseness in it, which will be good for texture. So we'll go ahead and put that on here. All right, now that we got our patties formed and seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and put them on the smoker. Today, we're gonna put them on the Oklahoma Joe. We got the smoker going around 300 degrees and we're using hickory today. Temperature-wise, you could do these burgers at 250, you could do it at 275 or 300. It doesn't have to be low and slow. Um, so it's really up to you. If you wanna go at a lower temperature, it'll sit in the smoke longer, you'll get more of a smoke flavor. If you don't have all day, do 300 degrees, it'll cook a bit faster. Go ahead and get yourself a thermometer. Put it in the center of the thickest part of one of your burgers. All right, now you can go ahead and cook it until your preferred doneness. I'll probably pull it off between 135 and 140. If you want it more well done, you can go higher than that. All right, so for this Southwest themed burger, we're gonna make a Southwest themed mayo with just two ingredients. Some Duke's mayo and some canned chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. So we'll start with the mayo. We'll do about half a cup. All right, we're gonna take, I think one will do. We'll do dice one pepper up, and I'll get a spoonful of the sauce. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and give our pepper a good shot. All right, go ahead and throw that in the mayo. All right, our burgers are approaching 145 degrees. Um, we're gonna go, we're going a little higher internal temperature with these just because of the chorizo and the pork. And plus there's a ton of fat in there that's gonna help that burger stay juicy so you can take it up a little higher than you would a normal beef patty. So right now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get some thick slices of pepper jack cheese on there, let it melt, and then we'll be ready to build. Finally, it's time to build this burger. We got all kinds of good stuff going on there. We got our chipotle mayo, we got some homemade smoked salsa, and we got some fried jalapenos and fried tortilla strips to give it that crunch. All right, it's the moment I've been waiting for. Oh my God. That's pretty freaking good. 
lots of smokiness, which you often don't get in a burger because most people throw it on the grill. But when you throw it in the smoker, you get that perfect cook all the way through. And that smokiness flavor just brings it to a whole new level. You got a little bit of that crunch from the uh, fried jalapenos and tortilla strips. Oh, gosh. That mayo and salsa, just top it off. It's really good. Oh, God. It's so good. Let me finish this and I'll do my ending. That's like gourmet Red Robin level, but better. Oh. This is where it's at. All right, out of this whole experience of making this burger and eating it, I got something I need to tell you. Go make this burger. Best burger I think I've made. I know I say that at the end of like every video, but I'm serious. That was a really good burger and it was delicious. So go to the store, get the ingredients and please make it. And if you do try it, let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time.